and uh, yeah, driving in some rain here, but uh, heading back out, this time uh, out into western Kentucky, and uh, just like last year, going to a World War II uh, reenactor tactical, uh, so we'll be there shortly. It's going to be another rainy day. Uh, I don't think as cold as last year. Uh, forecast is well, just this one turn. Okay. So uh, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah. Forecast today. Uh, it's supposed to be in the 50s, low 50s, something like that. But the wind's been really kicking today so far. And, uh, so, it'll probably be a little cooler than 50, so that'll be all right. Uh, it'll be a, uh, wet, muddy day like last year, but just a little warmer. So, but, uh, yeah, these guys, uh, these reenactors, uh, they're pretty serious about, uh, what they do. They... Collected all the gear, you know, time period correct. I ain't got any of that gear. Um, but, uh, yeah, if they lose a button, they'll replace it with a button that's period correct, not with just any old regular button. Um, yeah, they, they spend some time and money uh, collecting this stuff and studying the history. And, yeah, so a lot of respect for these guys. But yeah, it's, uh, I look forward to getting back with my buddy Bear. Getting out of here, trying to get attached to where all the action might be. Because yeah, last year, you know, that uh, video I produced, it was my most watched video, which was pretty cool. Because uh, things like this, you know, it's, it's called a tactical. Uh, it's not a, a you know a reenactment. Uh, because it had the reenactments, uh, like at uh, old, uh, Metropolis, Fort Massac, you know, that brings in a crap ton of people in Southern Illinois. But people watch a reenactment the public can. But this is different. This is called a tactical. And the public's not involved with it, uh, you know, so there's not huge crowds of folks going ooh and ah and ain't that cool or babies crying or, you know, people being obnoxious. Uh, yeah, it's just these guys out here uh, practicing some skills and some tactics uh, and having a great old time. And there's people coming uh, from the East Coast, I mean, it's all over. And uh, that, that's kind of exciting, you know, that these folks, you know, they have such a love for what they do, they'll travel pretty much no matter what the distance, so, you know, I'll do my small part about, you know, showing y'all what these guys do, and uh, who knows, it might spark an interest in you and want to hook up with somebody or a group near you, and, uh, you know, try to relive history or experience the things that you know the guys back in the 40s did experience. So, and on the Allied side and the Axis side. So, yeah, none of this is uh, you know, you, you might see guys uh, in German uniforms, things of that nature, but they are uh, reenactors. Uh, doing something that they love, uh, trying to recreate a little bit of history. So, we'll be there shortly. Uh, rain's kind of delaying me, going to hide the plane or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I got a little bit later start this morning, unfortunately. So we'll be hooking up with you in just a moment. But uh, just to. Uh, 
get back to some of the realism. Check this out. That's so cool. Period photographs. Yeah. So cool. So this might bring back some memories for some veterans. <laughs> Riding into cattle trucks at Army Post. Did the Allied side last year, so be uh, working on the German side this year. Hopefully. To Get a different perspective of things. It's a big to do. And now they're out with them. their asses out. You guys can't do it. So we need to keep everybody together as a group, as small as we are. First mission is that the Germans are going to be searching for a downed pilot.
We're back at the uh, Axis uh, Stronghold bear, or Headquarters, you know, that type of deal, yeah, HQ. Uh, but man, today is just turning into a super nice day. Um, rain's cleared out, and it's north and east of us now. And uh, take a look. Yeah. Partly sunny. There's still a good little breeze, but. Anyways, we had a lunch of stew and a dessert of apple cobbler, uh, both of which were extremely good. Uh, so, it's out here in the field, and food like that is uh, superb. Hello. So, I think we're going to be uh, getting things started up uh, for the second and then later third scenario. Uh, but yeah, I try not to eat too much that way. I still want to maneuver around out in the sticks. Yeah. The other day we ate too much and I did not want to move. But that was at the home. So, but anyhow. Wait for the call. Next scenario is... Uh, Salt from the Axis HQ, and it's a waiting game. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, you're good.
we ought to move this border up. We can't move it up and be under cover though.
besides thanking everybody for coming out, our first event was less than 24 guys, maybe about 22. We had seven Germans and like 14, maybe 14 Americans. Uh, last year we doubled that number, and this year we doubled that number. So, you know, this thing's growing. It's a it's an event we gear towards reenactors to to do stuff that's fun, to feed you, to make sure you have a warm, safe place to sleep, and just that we get to all rejoice in our friendship. And that's the big last thing. night. Uh, started out with a, <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed last night. Not you. Well, I enjoyed it because I noticed it was an us and them. It started out with all the Germans here and all the Allies here, and before the night was over. You were sleeping like, together. You're <laughs> <laughs> spooning. <laughs> so, no, so, 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 so that's what we want to see. You know, we want to see friendships build upon the, because that's how we get each other to come to one another's <laughs> Let's uh, let's let's talk sustain. Let's talk what we can improve. Uh, what, what did you like about the event? It stopped raining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have no control over the weather. Yes. So, I mean, in the first scenario is basically everybody's moving at once. And then you and then the, the next two, one side stay and the other, other side tag them with the flip-flop. That was very nice because everybody got a chance to rest for a while. Um, I enjoyed that. It was good. Yeah. I'm glad you explained that, how it worked because I, I, I forgot. That was Dave's idea. Listen here. That was all Dave's idea to change those scenarios. Up. All right, we were Dave. Dave's out here, man. That, that's what we do when we're doing this stuff. You see how it's going, how the play's happening, what the real numbers are here, and you, you try to make sure you mix it up so you don't get someone that's always in a defensive position, uh, maybe with superior numbers, and makes it frustrating for uh, reenactors. So we try to be fluid with it. So I appreciate you guys being willing to mix it up like that. <laughs> hey, hey. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> best, best, best display goes to one of our British. That's how I found out last night. Because I went by and I said, hey, is this shit for sale? He goes, no, I'm, I'm in it for the contest. <laughs> that was his display. You've got a prize waiting for you at the barracks, okay? 29th has a prize waiting for him. Raise your hand there, Johan. Now come out here real fast. We got the uh, we got the German commander to help us on this. Best persona. Let me tell you, this guy has been calling me for like three months from Virginia. He drove from the East Coast by himself. He wanted to be a medical officer. He actually had to send off to Germany to get the right lenses and stuff. I mean, to make his uniform. He was so worried about his uniform. And that's why I'm telling you guys, we got to shave. you got to cut your hair. you got to do what's right. When we have a guy that's so hardcore, he was worried about how his, his lincet was sewed on, and he's going to drive by himself 14 hours to be here. His aunt did it for him. Nine hours? <laughs> <laughs> He did get pulled over also. I did get pulled over. So oh. That's how he did wow. nine hours. Hopefully not dressed like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, get out of the car. You know, the guy's waiting for you. All this. Not all of it. The, uh, the, uh, but other than that, uh, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that makes us feel good. Absolutely. Somebody hears about an event that's nine hours away and drives by themselves over the Appalachian Mountains and is calling because he's afraid he can't come because he don't have the right lens in him. I mean, that says a lot about the reputation of the, the Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee bunch that puts these things on. That's, he also uh, didn't want to be in Virginia this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> With the Germans. I, real quick. Yeah. I couldn't do it without your advice, your advice. Any of you guys that have reached out to people that aren't here, like, it's the community and sharing that knowledge and helping you get it right. I mean, I had a guy send me step-by-step -step pictures on how to get this collar done and I mean this isn't stuff that I'm gonna go out and figure out on my own this is you guys giving back and, and helping me and everybody else learn so I, I can't take a lot of credit I'm I'm just stealing from your brains and trying to look oh papa won't you please come home cause your mama's all alone I have tried in vain Never more to call your name When you left you broke 
broke my heart. But that will never make us part. Ever since you've been gone, all my things are in pawn. Baby, won't you please come home, you old mean thing. Daddy, won't you please come home, but you're a sweet thing. Baby, won't you please? 